who was Benjamin. Benjamin, the youngest son of Jacob, Israel, and Rachel, is a significant figure in the Bible. His name, which means, son of the right hand, or, son of fortune, reflects the special affection Jacob had for him. Rachel, Benjamin's mother, died while giving birth to him, which made his arrival both a moment of joy and sorrow for Jacob. Genesis chapter 35 verses 16 to 18. This tragic event likely deepened Jacob's attachment to Benjamin. Benjamin's older brother was Joseph, and they shared the same mother, Rachel. This familial bond played a crucial role in the later events of Joseph's story and the reconciliation of Jacob's family. Benjamin's role in Joseph's story. Benjamin's life is closely tied to the account of his brother Joseph, who was sold into slavery by his envious half-brothers. After rising to power in Egypt, Joseph orchestrated a test to see if his brothers had changed their ways. He demanded that Benjamin, his youngest brother, be brought to Egypt. Genesis chapter 42 verses 19 to 20. When Benjamin arrived, Joseph treated him with special care, giving him five times the portion of food that his other brothers received during a meal. Genesis chapter 43 verse 34. This act highlighted Joseph's deep affection for his full brother. Later, Joseph tested his brother's loyalty by framing Benjamin for theft. When Judah offered to take Benjamin's place as a slave, it revealed the brothers' repentance and unity. This emotional moment paved the way for Joseph to reveal his identity and reunite with his family. Genesis chapter 44 verse 1 minus 45 to 15. Benjamin as the father of a tribe. Benjamin became the progenitor of one of the twelve tribes of Israel. The tribe of Benjamin was known for its fierce warriors, loyalty, and significant contributions to Israel's history. Notably, a small yet mighty tribe. Though Benjamin was the smallest tribe, it gained a reputation for courage and skill in battle. The tribe's warriors were adept with the sling, as mentioned in Judges chapter 20 verse 16, where 700 left-handed Benjamites were described as being able to sling stones with remarkable accuracy. The first king of Israel, Saul, the first king of Israel, came from the tribe of Benjamin, 1 Samuel chapter 9 verses 1 to 2. This was a pivotal moment in Israel's history as it transitioned from being led by judges to having a monarchy. Location and influence. The tribe was strategically located near Jerusalem, which eventually became the capital of Israel. Benjamin's proximity to Judah led to the two tribes forming a close alliance after the division of the united monarchy. Spiritual lessons from Benjamin. Jehovah's Witnesses emphasize the importance of studying Bible characters like Benjamin to draw spiritual lessons. Here are some key takeaways. God's care for the vulnerable. Benjamin's life illustrates how Jehovah cares for the vulnerable and provides for them. As the youngest and likely the most protected member of Jacob's family, Benjamin was shown exceptional care by his father and his brothers. Unity and Reconciliation the story of Joseph and Benjamin underscores the importance of forgiveness and reconciliation. Benjamin's role in reuniting Jacob's family is a testament to the healing power of love and forgiveness, principles that Jehovah's Witnesses strive to embody in their lives. Overcoming adversity. Despite being part of a small tribe, the Benjamites made significant contributions to Israel's history. This demonstrates how Jehovah can use even those who may seem insignificant to accomplish great things. Loyalty to Jehovah. The tribe of Benjamin's close association with Judah and their loyalty to Jehovah's covenant highlights the importance of staying faithful to God, even when challenges arise. Benjamin in prophecy and symbolism. Benjamin also holds a place in biblical prophecy and symbolism. For example, Jacob's blessing. In Genesis chapter 49 verse 27, Jacob blesses Benjamin, describing him as a wolf that tears prey. This imagery reflects the tribe's warrior-like nature and tenacity. Moses's blessing. In Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 12, Moses blesses Benjamin, saying that the tribe is beloved by Jehovah and would dwell securely. This highlights Benjamin's special place in God's purpose. Jehovah's Witnesses often highlight how these blessings demonstrate Jehovah's guidance and care for his people. Modern Day Application Jehovah's Witnesses encourage believers to reflect on Benjamin's story and apply the lessons to their own lives. They might consider, 
forgiveness and unity. Just as Benjamin played a role in the reconciliation of Jacob's family, Christians are encouraged to work towards peace and unity within their spiritual families. Relying on Jehovah's strength. Like the small but influential tribe of Benjamin, Jehovah's Witnesses are reminded that their strength comes from God, not their own abilities. Valuing spiritual heritage. The legacy of Benjamin and his tribe serves as a reminder to value one's spiritual heritage and remain faithful to Jehovah's standards. Conclusion. Benjamin's story is a rich tapestry of family dynamics, loyalty, and spiritual lessons. From his birth under tragic circumstances to his tribe's influential role in Israel's history, Benjamin exemplifies Jehovah's ability to use individuals and families to fulfill his purpose. By studying characters like Benjamin, Jehovah's Witnesses deepen their appreciation for the Bible's relevance and the timeless wisdom it offers for living a life that pleases God.